In this video, I'm going to make these two little lighthouses. This is a two lighthouses that comes from a set of four, two large ones and two small ones. These are the two large ones. They're Sume patterns that uh, I got out of a magazine quite a while back, and I did a, a, I made the, the, the whole set and I filmed it, but I never did edit the video. It's been sitting on my computer and I never did do it because I had plenty of other material. So. I have a, a shelf in a consignment shop that I put some of my stuff in, and the two larger lighthouses sold. So I thought, well, I'll uh, uh, make the replace those two and see if they'll sell too. I'm experimenting with some paint on on this one, and uh, the others were just stained like this, one light and one dark. Anyway, I, in two months, I sold one each month. Uh, some people seem to like lighthouses, <clears throat> uh, so I'll just put them back out there and see what happens. This time I'm going to make the video out of them. I'm going to try to find the particular issue of magazine that they came out of. It's been a while. Uh, I just scanned it and I pulled up the scan from a PDF to reprint the pattern. So I'll have to go back and research, see if I can find exactly where it came from. Like I said, it's a Sume pattern. I've seen these cut by several other people. I've seen several examples of them on YouTube and in various other places. Uh, I'm not real crazy about compound cuts. My saw doesn't like compound cuts. But uh, this worked okay. And yeah, These aren't, aren't too bad. So I've got some other ideas, some different things to do with these. Uh, if these sell, I'm, I'll replace them again. So hang on and I'll, we'll look at the pattern and then we'll start cutting it and it's a very simple, very quick little project. Stay tuned and we'll, pro we'll press into it. Well, that's a quick look at the pattern. I've already got them mounted. Put some clear tape on them to help with the uh, lubrication because that's a thick cut. It's about an inch and a quarter, I believe. That's, well within the range of my saw. It has some trouble with the really thick compound cuts. This is poplar. It should cut fairly easily. I've got the holes drilled. And uh, so I'm going to get it over and put it a number seven, maybe a number nine even. I'm not sure. Uh, but whatever I've got handy there that is non pinned uh, in blade. I want as big a blade as I can get and cut it slowly and to keep it tracking properly. And I may get me a piece, a couple of pieces of woods to clamp. Kind of helps when you flip to the second side to help the first side clamp to keep it lined up. And gives you something to handle it with when you cut. Uh, it's not really, this is a fairly big piece. I don't know if it's necessary for the clamp, but it helps a little bit in some instances. So I'm going to get over there and set up, get me a blade in the saw. And this shouldn't take real long to cut these, but I'm not going to go real fast. Try to keep them uh, cutting straight and then not the, the blade stand accurate and straight all the way up and down. So let me get it set up and I'll start cutting it. We'll start with this one. I'm going to go down and cut these uh, out. And then I'm going to come back and cut this side. Then I'll flip it and reclamp it. And I'll keep this lined up, and I'll leave these out. It makes it a little easier to make that second cut if you got some of the material out of the way. Now we'll start. I'll just work my way down and cut all these little windows out.
Well, there are the finished products, the two little uh, lighthouses. I just put a light stain on this one. I think that's a light walnut stain. The wood is poplar. Not a real pretty wood, but it looks okay if you do something like that with it. Now this one, I don't normally paint in my little projects. I'm not a big fan of that, although you can make things look nice. Uh, I just want to experiment with that. And what I did is I spray painted it with white first, and then I got me some a small brush and a couple other colors and painted the other, the top and the bottom. So uh, you're going to see how people like that. The reason I made these is I'm replacing a couple that I made, but I already introduced that, uh, already talked about that in the introduction. So if you didn't catch that, go back and listen to that and see why I made these. It's actually a set of four, and these are the two larger ones. Uh, it's a, a Sume pattern, and I got it out of a, a scroll saw magazine qu quite a long while ago. So if you like that, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe. And if there's something in particular you'd like to see, or like for me to try, I've got several projects in mind coming up. Uh, still trying to do a line of, of models. I'm going to do a sailboat next, I think. Uh, but stay tuned, and... Keep watching my videos, and if there's something you'd like to see in particular, uh, leave that in the comments, and I'll see if I can round it up. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.